The special case of interest here is the elliptical lift distribution. So this means we're positing that the circulation as a function of y is the value at the origin times 1 minus 2 times y over b squared. So this is just the equation of an ellipse. One thing you'll notice from this is that as we would expect, the value at the wingtips is 0. Now here what we've done is we haven't solved the equation for this. We've posited this as a solution. And then look, now we're going to look at what properties such a solution would have. So resulting from this, and again, there's more detail on how each of these results is obtained in the notes and in the text, but we get that the downwash, which we'll write as a function of theta naught, and I'll explain what that is in a moment, is that, and here we get, using a substitution, y equals b over 2 cos theta, um, theta naught is in the value at, at y naught. So from this, what's important is that the downwash is a constant. It doesn't depend on any variation along the span. And if we look at the induced angle of attack, we can see that it is also constant. So if we do some algebraic manipulation using the res these results that's detailed in the text, we can get this, this induced angle of attack is the area times the lift coefficient over pi times the span squared. Now this should look familiar, as we've seen it before, that the uh, wingspan squared over the reference area. So this is just the inverse of the aspect ratio AR. So from that we get that the induced angle of attack is CL over pi a r. And also, we can then get that the induced drag coefficient is CL squared over pi a r. So what do we get from this is that the induced drag is proportional to the lift squared. So this clearly illustrates that the induced drag is due to lift. And often you will hear reduced drag or induced drag referred to as drag due to lift. So this is consistent with what we saw earlier in the course when discussing the optimum L over D for Cruz and Loiter, and we're looking at the way that the drag uh, behaves, there was a coefficient that depended on lift, uh, one, sorry, one term of that equation depended on lift in just this way. We also see that CDI is proportional to 1 over AR, the aspect ratio. So we want a high aspect ratio to have low induced drag. So now the next natural question that arises is how do we achieve that elliptical lift distribution? So if we consider a wing with no twist, which means alpha and alpha at zero lift are constant across the span, that means that the effective angle of attack, which is alpha minus alpha i, is also constant. And then since the lift coefficient is the lift slope, and if we're using thin airflow theory, that's 2 pi, um, but in, in general it need not be, is given as follows, then CL can't vary along the span, since this isn't varying on the span, and this isn't varying on the span. Um, we're assuming here that the airflow section doesn't change, so that A0 stays the same. 
or that we're using thin air flow theory and it doesn't matter. So since CL can't vary along the span, we get L prime of Y, which is Q infinity uh, times the dynamic pressure times the chord times CL. This means that C of Y in general is L prime of Y over Q infinity CL. But this doesn't vary along the span. So the only way to achieve the elliptical lift distribution is to have an elliptical chord distribution. So C of Y is also elliptical. And this is how this ideal elliptical lift distribution is achieved. And in practice, there are aircraft that use this type of distribution. A great example is the Spitfire. And finally, if we want to look at a general lift distribution, this is developed in more detail in section 5.3.2 of the text, but basically the induced drag uh, is CL squared over pi, and now we insert a factor E here compared to uh, the elliptical case. So E is called the efficiency of the wing, and it's one for an elliptical distribution, and always less than one otherwise. So an elliptical is the best we can do. And for how to calculate E, see the section 5.3.2 in the textbook. And in this course, if you need to consider a non-elliptical lift distribution, this factor E will be given. You won't need to worry about how to calculate it. So this is a brief introduction to 3D wings, just to get you started and to see where some of the previous uh, characteristics, including the um, two terms for drag, one which increased with velocity and one which decreased with velocity, um, where those come from.